What's up? It's... I almost said Saturday. What's wrong with me? Oh my god, that's way off. It's Monday. Tekken Monday. It's Eclipse Day. So look forward to that at around 2 p.m. EST, I think. This is Final Fantasy. This is Final Fantasy 7. It's either Rebirth or Remake or whichever. Rick, it's... If it's not that, then it might be Crisis Core, actually. It's Rebirth. Gotcha. Still gotta play these... Is this Astro near? Whoa. Scuba aquatic crafting. Okay, this is Subnautica. This is free. Come on. Realize I didn't read the keywords for the previous one. Hold up. Sea glides, swimming, submarine, shipwrecks, bioluminescence. Wait, maybe I shouldn't read the rest of these. Survival guide. Survival guide? Oxygen management. Scanning technology. Abandoned research facilities and hostile environments. Hmm. Before 2019, not third person. Let's try Ghost Runner. Not first person. All right, let's try Mega Man X. After 1993, not side view. Isometric. It's either it's either isometric or oh wait, isometric text. VR. Nuclear Throne's not in here. Enter the Gungeon is... Let's try Enter the Gungeon. It is isometric, made in Unity after 2016. When was Transistor made? Twenty fourteen. And apparently that goes to side view. I did not know that. Multiplayer. Multiplayer isometric game. We know it's not indie, adventure, shooter, or arcade. RPG. Or hack and slash. Fantasy. Dragon Quest Builders? No, isn't that third person? Is that made in Unity? Twenty eighteen. Third person. RPG. What's up, Lux? Harmonica, I got you. Two harmo- three harmonicas. Twenty eighteen multiplayer Unity Isometric. Thank you, no prob. Diablo wasn't made in Unity, was it? Wait, maybe it's a torchlight game. Nope. That's Unreal Engine, apparently.
Diablo, Baldur's Gate. No, it's not Baldur's Gate. Dragon Age. I don't know which is what. Rick. Only thing I have is RPG and fantasy. It has to be Diablo. Or is Diablo immortal? Gwent. Okay, I was not going to get that. That was not going to happen anytime soon. Oof. Speaking of card games, let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh. Where are you? Master Duel. I'm going to pause the music. Not pause. Stop the music. There's no pausing. It's, it's a radio. What am I doing? There we go. That's my cue, goodbye, friend. See you, Lux. So, what's new? New secret pack. Rescue team emergency dispatch. Oh, the rescue stuff? Uh-oh. Oh, he made a manifested Makanko. X Pearly. Additional packs and nightmare rivals. care about any of these? I feel like I don't. Either way. Into ranked we go. He's in 28. Oh boy. Please, for the love of God, do not hit me with the really annoying stuff. That's not cool. <laughs> yes, we're stalling. Harpy's feather dust to me, please. Dark Magic Twin Burst. Apprentice Illusion Magician. 
No, I'm good. Magician. Full and lock. This card is normal or special summon. Add one Dark Magician from your deck to your hand during damage calculation. If your other Dark Spellcaster monsters battle an opponent's monster, quick effect, send this card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. That monster gains 2,000 attack and defense during that damage calculation only. Okay. Stop what right Tosk. Bro didn't read roll, he sure didn't. Uh Either that or he intended to hit face with Magician's Rod because he can't get a level six monster out on the Break this game! Oh my god, bro. Ah, Okay, um... I call up them boys. I don't activate any of that, because why would I? I guess I can use Astrotopia. I have to call in Astrotopia. I can normal summon him, get rid of Lightning Storm... ...for a Zexal Construction, or get rid of one of these. But I don't want to get rid of any of these. No, I ha it has to be a face-up card, right? Send one of the card from your hand or field to the graveyard. I'm gonna just end with that and then hope for the best. This hit face, just hit face again. Or better yet, please tell me you can't read uh, Grave of the Super Ancient. Well, th no, wait, this is a problem if he gets Eternal Soul. Send one level 6 or higher spellcaster monster from your deck to the graveyard, then activate... Well, okay, I guess that's getting special summon. Hey, buddy, please read this card. Okay, that can attack me. Once per turn, discard one spellcaster monster, draw one card. Once per turn, if this card is targeting for an attack, target one spellcaster monster in graveyard, accept that, and change the target to it. And change the attack target to it, and if you do, the attacking monster's attack becomes half of its current attack. Okay, I, I don't care about that. This can't hit me, this can't hit me, these two can, but it can't kill me. Summon one Dark Magician or one Dark Magician girl from your graveyard. Okay. Hi! Why not? Right? I don't feel like you should get anything. Negate. That one hits face. That one hits face. End your turn. No quick effects. ZW Ultimate Shield. Don't care, didn't ask. Also, your life ends here. Get rid of Lightning Storm. Pull in Zexal Construction. 
is Exo Construction. Ultimate Shield goes away. Pull in... Armed Sage. Special Summon Armed Sage face up defense position. Use both of these to exceed Summon Utopia Double. Face up defense position. Activate Armed Sage's effect. And then activate Utopia Double's effect. Double or nothing. Pull in Utopia. Face up attack. ZW Tornado Bringer. Activate Tornado Bringer's effect. Attach. Battle phase. Negate my own attack. Double or nothing. Nope. Kill him. Who's this thing? This is a normal fusion monster? Ew. <laughs> Wish I could read this guy's name. With a pet like this, he better be using Sioux ships. Huh. Uh... Let's well, Zexal Construction first. Ash Blossom. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Okay. Don't care. What do you mean you still have a hand trap? has a lot of random cards like that. Mm -hmm. Like what? Damn, my hoping. Yeah, you stupid, dumb idiot. Blew your load too quickly. Because guess what's about to happen? Now I remove material. This thing leaves the field. Infinite impermanence don't go off, and I still get what I want. Double or nothing. We pulling in Utopia Dragnar. Normal fusion monsters? Oh. Boom. We pulling in Rank Up Magic Zexal Force. Activating this thing's ability. Number 39, Utopia. What's up, Zane? Harmonica. Number C39, Utopia Ray. And unfortunately, because I do not have anything- oh wait, no, I can just- what's wrong with me? I'm freaking stupid. Oh, 
Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. And I shall add Lightning Bringer to the top of the deck. Not that it matters. I can't really use that. I detach one material. And then I attach ZW Lightning Blade. Honestly, I probably should have gone for poor Tornado Bringer because that helps a little bit, but eh. Honestly, I need both Lightning Blade and Tornado Bringer to make this work, but this is whatever. This is good enough for now for a guy with three cards in his hand, two of which were hand traps that he used poorly. There's an effect moss that exists, but it has had no written effect. It can still be hit with impermanence, but it effectively does nothing. Also a random fusion. What the hell? Does these fall on the fall on the Valbez? Um, mmm. Yep, okay. The main phase, quick effect, you can summon one level later, higher monster. I don't think I should blow my load on that just yet. You can, you can go ahead with that one. Because there's nothing that you're gonna summon and then upon summoning clears my board. What did you use? Dimension Shifter. Yeah. This card is fusion summon. Send one level 6 or higher moss, light dark monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. If a monster is special summoned by your opponent's activated monster effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Special summon one Dogmatica monster. Okay. Don't care, didn't ask. Also, this thing should just... It, it's irrelevant. It's entirely irrelevant. I'm glad I didn't waste any negate on that. This one might be relevant. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can target one face-up card your opponent controls. Return to the hand. Frick! I should have used Tornado Bringer! No! No, 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 no. Please tell me he can't read. As long as he can't read, it's fine. As long as he cannot read. He can't read! He's stupid! Oh, thank God. He doesn't know that the 6k monster can't hit face. Why did you do that? Exo construction. Hmm. Double or nothing. If that's a freaking drowning mirror force or something, I'm gonna get real pissed. Attach one material. Okay. I don't know whether or not it's more worth it to go for Draconic Halberd or Unicorn Spear. He doesn't have very many monsters. I could go for Sylphid Wing and then use Sylphid Wing to, like, <laughs> do something stupid later. Because I know I can't kill him in one turn. I think I'd rather just use Unicorn Spear. When a monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, negate that attack. Then if you control a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz and Material, you can destroy the monster that declared that attack if a monster is banished face up except during the damage step and banish this card from the field or graveyard. What the hell? That's stupid. I don't know the activation timing for this, so I'm only hoping that he can't all right, we're good. But my hecking battle phase is over. Ah!
Where is Osher a strike when you need him? Oh wait, this doesn't say anything about Fallen of Albaz, does it? I didn't need to negate that. Well, mm. This card is no more special summon. Activate this effect. Add one Dogmatica card from your deck to your hand, except Dogmatica Excelsia. Ecclesia. The Virtuous. Cannot special summon monsters in the extra deck for the rest of this turn. That's the only card you have left in your hand. Or had left in your hand. I don't feel like you should be able to activate it, so I won't let you. What do you mean you have a Synchro in your- I didn't realize one of them was a Tuner. Despy and Lulu a Lilith. That might not be good. Oh, right. Hey, check out this Solemn Judgment. <laughs> Why? What's this do? Once per turn, if a card leaves the extra deck during the damage step, you can make all monsters you currently control gain 500 attack permanently, then you can negate the effects of one face-up card on the field until the end of this turn. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can special summon one light spellcaster monster from your hand or deck, whose attack equals its own defense. You can only use this effect of Despy and Lulu while Lilith once per turn. This card is normal special summon. Send one Fallen of Albez or one card that mentions it from your deck to your graveyard. Oh, no. And then you send Fallen of Albez. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Oka? There's excellent trust. Do I have anything in my graveyard that I actually care about entrusting? Not really. Okay. What did you pull out? Blazing Cretesia, whatever. Fusion summon one level eight. That's if it's on the field already, right? You would need another turn. How would I kill you? How can I kill you right now? Card from your hand during the main phase. Fusion summon one level eight or higher fusion monster from your extra deck. You can't special summon that right this second. And I can kill both of those if I can get the right card, right? Okay, well, either way. I still don't know what this freaking face down is. If this is Drowning Mirror Force, actually, I'm gonna be real pissed. Hyper Rank Up Magic's Exo Force. That's not very useful right now. Wait, maybe it is, actually. Hold up. Is Exo and Trust. Pull back in, um. What do you call it? Pull back in number 39, Utopia. Why are you putting freaking Cold by the Grave face down like this? As if it's gonna... Whatever. Are you kidding me, man? Really? <laughs> Another day of Coptopia gameplay pog, yeah. Um, uh, yes, the no card, hmm? No, he doesn't know the fear of evenly matched. I do know the fear of evenly matched, I hate it. Monsters banished face stuff, except during the damage phase, banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one light spellcaster monster from your- Oh, he's about to trick me, man. Okay, this is fine. This is fine, because now he's going to play the thing from his hand, and then I'm just going to negate it, because he can't do very much off of that. Yo, Black Sajam, how are we doing, chat? <laughs> Black Sajam. I- I've already said, how can I be both Black Sajam and Black- LTG. This 
is stupid. This is a stupid interaction, because now you're gonna try to quick affect me when I go into battle phase. Attack. It doesn't even matter. It negate that thing. Uh... I don't need to do anything other than that. Does this have a... If it's in the graveyard? Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. This is fine. And this doesn't have any lasting effects, right? And the only other thing I can do is this. <laughs> Did Kara Behemoth on stream last Saturday screw you for getting into my head even though you played a singular match that day? I was forcing Kara's for the rest of the stream. This dude. Anyway, Utopia is boring for people that ask for soup but end up just drinking water with spices or something? Yeah? That's all soup is, dude! It's just water with some spices. You have personality disorder. Also, damn, didn't give me my sup. That's it, I'm pulling out my Labyrinth deck that Moose gave me. You are in for it now, Baldula. I thought I did. I must have only did that in my head. And, damn it! Please no, God no, I'm so tired of labyrinths. Oh, you're gonna bring that stupid thing in the graveyard back, ain't you? What'd you just send to the graveyard? Elder Entity Ntis. Ntis? Sending this ab the above cards you control to the graveyard, and once per turn you can special summon one level one- one level four monster from your hand. This card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one card in the field, destroy it. You can only special summon Elder- Yeah, okay, you're stupid. Nope, that doesn't- Yep, a Lightning Blade. Nope. Meaningless. Negated. You're dumb! Dummy! There's no reason to use Drove Mothbird here, right? Nothing. Nothing. Oh look, it's freaking nothing! Send two monsters with different names from the energy deck. Energy deck? Extra deck to the graveyard. Also your opponent sends two monsters from their extra deck to the graveyard. What is this? You can banish... One fusion, synchro, exes, or link monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. Okay. During your main phase... You can activate this effect. Send two monsters with different names from your extra deck to the graveyard. Also, your opponent sends two monsters from the extra deck to the graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. I will negate you. That is not a quick effect, so you cannot respond to this. Yeah. Why the Utopia no die? Because this guy... Because Fallen of Balbaz is pathetic. It's disgusting, pathetic... It's just a bunch of dumb idiots running around trying to throw half of their deck into the graveyard. He gave up! Thank God he gave up! Thank you! Damn, I've been waiting! Huh. It's nothing but sending half of their deck to the graveyard and then ultimately losing because Fallen of Albaz gets negated or Mirror Jade gets negated, or they die in one hit. They got nothing. Absolutely nothing. They trash, bro. Telling me this is a tier zero deck? More like it's a zero effort deck, zero wins deck? I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say here. They, they put, they're just not good. Uh-oh. It's not a tier zero deck, Lamau. Oh, I thought they were. I remember Moose telling me something about that they're a high tier deck. I guess he fed me misinformation on the internet, again. No potatoes, no vegetables, no pasta, no nothing, just the water with spices, and not even better Utopia players are top of the peop- are the type of people to drink salted water and say, yo, lovely soup and tea, after they drank water with sugar. What is this? Ten yees. Oh, no. Uh, if you control a face-up 
Non-effect monster, you can banish this card. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. What is this starting hit? Oh, we lost. We freaking lost. We lost. How you doing, Violet Bolster? Thinking about you like the other day, been wondering where you've been. Banish one of these, or summon a token. While well, that token is in the monster zone, the player who special summon it cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except synchro monsters. I feel like you need that token, right? That token is... Yeah, it's gonna be a tuner. You're going to end up synchro summoning. I have... <laughs> sure, I'll use it. You should negate that. You should 100% negate that. I don't know, man. Strange, don't let him get away with that. I'm I'm stopping him. I'm stopping him. What did he banish? Does this have an effect for being banished? Rick, you... I knew this would happen. My bad, Sejam is asleep. Yo, low tier Strange, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, I hate that the majority of McDonald's meals are beef. Why are you eating McDonald's? McDonald's? Oh, wait, no, you live in not America, not the US. Maybe your McDonald's is actually worth something. Can't eat beef due to religious reasons. Really? The goddamn triple chicken patties are at? Uh, don't they have some? Sword Soul what now? Sword Soul Strategist Long Yuan. Oh, what? What do you mean? Zexal Construction! We still lost! Did we still... Wait, maybe we didn't still lose. Hold up. Um... No, we lost. Yeah, no, we definitely lost. Uh, 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 I mean, like, I can do this, and I can do this. And then you're gonna Ash Blossom me. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Ah, 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 Double bricked up on a morning, Monday morning. Why'd I have to draw both of my excellent trusts? This is gonna be meaningless. What's up, Killian? If this is an infinite permanent, wait, it doesn't matter. You can't activate it. Yeah, no, you can't activate it. Please synchro summon. Please synchro summon a level eight right now. Please. Unless you have destruction. I'm begging you to synchro summon a level eight. Okay, discarded a level six. Finally a good game is what I'd say if this game wasn't ass. True. Oh, did he figure it out? Shoot, he figured it out prematurely because he summoned this level 6, I think. No. Oh, that token is in the monster zone. The player who summoned it cannot special summon monsters except for the synchro monsters. You gonna bombard me? Swarm me with a bunch of level 4s, please. Yeah, okay, there it is. Wait, is it a thing to customize patties in McDonald's? Don't think so. Hard stuck plat. Yup. One of the main things about Yu-Gi-Oh! is knowing what your opponent wants to do and what the dangerous cards are. Well, I didn't know what card that was and how dangerous it might have been. Why did you synchro summon a level 8 when you cannot use it? What are you doing? 
Good. Yeah, nice. Nice Grandmaster Soul that can't do anything. Unless you can... Is this like a... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yep. Control no effect monster special summon. Yep. And then that returns to my hand. Damn it! Yeah, not a damn thing I can do about any of this, and it's all just because I... I bricked as hard as I could, dude! <laughs> Drew both of my Zexal and Trusts. How? Why? Sword Stole Sinister Sovereign... Oxyingling Yuan. Long Yuan. I don't even feel like reading you. Just kill me. Kill my ass. Play Galaxy Eyes, Brick is the name of the game. <laughs> Not when you're fighting me. Outskilled, I'm afraid, better player. Oh, now I get Astrotopia. That's funny. That's really funny. Please kill me. It's all Labyrinth, Sword Soul, and Snake Eye. Yeah, it freaking sucks, don't it? I love playing against decks that don't let me play the game. I also love playing decks that don't let my opponent play the game. Why not just surrender? You get less stuff if you surrender. I'm really wishing for this guy to kill me. Alright, this is starting to piss me off. Pretty close to level 100 battle pass. Me too, but you just saw that. Is this the same guy? No, dude. This better not be the same guy. No, it can't be, right? This is a different name. It's just in characters that I can't read. Except for a couple. Surrender gives zero rewards. Right, yeah. Something, something scars on the back. Name which series that's from right now. Doubt getting the same person is so unlikely. It's happened to me before. One Piece, shoot. Alright, you win. Alright, Ash Blossom me. Or not. Cool. Uh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Ascended Sage. Whoops. Face up defense. I don't want to use Unicorn Spear for this, but I have to. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so bad. Might be a bot, Steve. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe not. You never know. Uh, the bots usually only have five character long names, right? guy under underestimates me every time I can even tell you who says it there no one said that though that wasn't a line that was said I mean that was like a a narrator thing I guess that's what she would have said what am I doing uh, uh yeah sexual sexual rank of magic sexual force Zoro said scars on the back are a swordsman's shame. Oh, that's what you meant. Thought he was talking about the battle at Marineford. I've been reading uh, One Piece recently, and I just finished like the Dress Rosa arc. Or I think I just finished it. The big bad of Dress Rosa just got defeated. Bro. <laughs> 
I cannot imagine trying to read the Dress Rosa arc as it was releasing. That, because that took forever. It was just side story upon side story that droned on for just what felt like a millennia, and apparently all of it was supposed to be a singular day's worth of time. <laughs> oh no. Ugh. Just Rosa was ass? I didn't think it was that ass. I thought it was fine. Er, I thought it was like tolerable. And then I thought it got cool when Gear 4 is introduced. I put these in the wrong place. We lost. We lost. We lost. Alright, that's that. Something something Mihawk was also there. Yeah, I know the scene you're talking about now. Steven down to watch shows later, later today? Uh, I mean, sure, why not? Got a few lined up that's nice. Unless you mean it later at, in general. And, and once again, if so, then... No! Not the magical mallet! No! Wait. It might be fine. I, that might not be the card that I think it is. What, what is the... What is this? Now, why didn't you just play Reload? <laughs> what? What? What's up, Sans? How you been? I haven't seen you in forever. What, what did I just... Okay, hold up. Negate all of the trap cards on the field. What? Also, wait, hold on. Um, Oka, how'd you know that they didn't have an extra deck? I wasn't looking at any of that. What did I just experience? I don't understand. Me went 1-3 with Exo Sister, which is a first because I normally go 2x at locals. My one win was against Cash, and dude made me work for the kill. I'm out of gas by turn 5, and both games lasted 13 turns. Oh, man. Because it doesn't show it, Mr. Streamer? It doesn't show what? It doesn't show... What are you talking about? What did I miss? Demon Slayer, don't remember if we watched Entertainment District, but yeah, no, we did not watch Entertainment District. Ninja Kamui and Invincible Season 2, if you haven't watched. I have not watched uh, Invincible Season 2 yet, and I don't know what Ninja Kamui is at all. Extra deck number? Where? If the opponent doesn't have extra deck, you can physically see it. Re. Why are you reing? See it where? Oh, you mean like in the actual game? You're talking about in the action. I, I, okay. I'm never looking at that, ever. I didn't know you meant in here. Four extra deck cards. 37. What, what, what am I fighting? Why, why are we bricking up super hard today? <laughs> Wait, no, this isn't a brick. I'm, I'm lying. I'm sorry. Wait, it is. It's a semi-brick. I just need to get rid of this, and then it's a, not a brick at all. Give me that one. Okay. Face-up defense. Face-up attack. Activate effect. Get rid of Raigeki. Pull in change tactics. Play change tactics. Steven, give me a hundred million points. Oh wait, never mind. What, you want me to make my bed? Why? Actually dumb. Dude is hella blind. He doesn't look past his own piece of board. I, I don't! That's how- that, that's 90% of Yu-Gi-Oh players. You cannot get on my case for this. 
I'm gonna miss the activation timing here because I really don't like gambling on whether or not I'm gonna end up drawing double or nothing by accident. No, actually they look, we just don't read. I don't look. Double or nothing. Pull in... Utopia Dragnar. Literally a rushdown player, I don't care what you do, truly a GD Strive player not looking at the screen and just hitting something. Yup. You know it! Make up Magic Zexal Force. Missed activation timing, but don't care, didn't ask, also... I... I'm special summoning. It makes you 10% that... or even dumber, congrats. Thanks. Mm, that's Nibiru. Uh, ha, 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 ha. This game sucks dick. Uh, I use my normal summon. <laughs> okay, as long as we can survive the one turn, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. As long as we can survive the one turn, it's fine. Well, you wanted to play during your turn too bad. Yeah, basically. I might actually turn into a lab player. Never speak to me again. Or transport unit. Once per turn, you can discard one card to add one iron core of cloaca from your deck to your hand. I've been Raigeki! My token. Okay, someone explain to me what the heck core of cloaca is. I don't know. What the heck? What do you mean you don't know? Never seen it. Become a lab player and you give it a scare all fighting game players. Iron Core of Kaoki Meru. During your draw phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand instead of drawing, and or send one Kaoki Meru monster from your hand to your graveyard to add to this to add this card to your hand. Huh? can return one Iron Core of Kaoki Meru from your hand to the top of your deck if you do, the effects of all face-up effect monsters are negated until the standby phase of your next turn, except Kaoki Meru's monster. What? Break! Okay. So what's the answer here? Uh, I can still do this, right? It has to be one of these that I summon. Okay. So this is gonna test something. Summon this. Activate. It gets negated because of this stupid piece of trash. Okay. This is stupid! What the hell? Alright. Utopia Rising. I can't activate its effect. I can only rank it up. So this is still fine. These change tactics. 
I mean, I can try that, but it's gonna get negated. Um, don't even bother with that. Resolve. Negate. Resolve. I actually get what I want. Rank up Magic's Exile Force. That can get me... Utopia Beyond. Which is debatably a better card to use than something like... Utopia Rising. Actually, wait, I think I can kill with Utopia Beyond. Huh. Wait! Ah! I'm stupid! Well, option Utopic Dark Infinity it is! I threw. I threw. It's fine. Utopic Dark Infinity is the main character, it's okay. Get this thing off the board. Not the first time. True. This is fine. This is fine. I've been posture checked. Must be new here. Real Yu-Yo players don't read because every card is literally a five-page essay. True. Damn, Max C counters all my decks. Just do what I do and play Xyz Change Tactics and then just play through the Max C and draw just as many cards. Don't explode your board? Hmm? I won't. Won't be the last time either. I'm sorry, what? Where's the rest of your hand? What do you mean? Surely you can do something. This, this is so whack, dude. I could have killed this guy. I could have freaking killed this guy right now. If I didn't hyper rank up magic thinking that I could summon Utopia Beyond. Oh, man. Because what I could have done is turned Utopia Rising into like Leo or Draconic Utopia Ray. Then Ashra Strike Unicorn Spear and then kill both of them. And then... I could just attach the lightning blade right after and then hit face and just absolutely body the guy, but... But no! No, I bodied myself! This can hit face. This can hit face. Neither of them can attach. That would be pointless. Whatever battle phase it is. No. <laughs> With Galaxy Eyes, my opponent gets about 14 hand cards of a good max C. Hmm? Oh, that's supposed to be off of a good max C. Oh, I... I mean, it's the same for me. Well, I think they end up with, um... I think it's usually around 10. The world was your oyster, but what did you do? Just mashed. You know what? I'd mash again. Maybe he won't have an answer. Maybe he's got only spell cards in his hand. It's only spell cards in his hand right now. He's about to hit the end turn button right this second. And then I'm going to kill him because I'm going to summon Ashura Strike. And then I'm gonna strike his Ashra. Beat stick him? I am. I'm definitely trying. Your body was a cage. I'll just set you free. Oh, or he can just surrender. <laughs> or that. That works too. <laughs> See, guys? I'm good. I know what I'm doing. You guys want to run a, a, a lobby? That is a bot. 
Got to plat five because four people in a row surrendered turn one. <laughs> I did that and I got to plat one. And then I proceeded to get all of the tier zero decks at once. And I felt sad. This is not a great starting hand, but it's usable. Uh, this is actually moderately whack. This is dealt in, this is dealt with by one negate. Maxi! I don't care, I'm playing through it. Playing through it. Don't care. Didn't ask. Uh. No, I can't do that, because... Wait. Are you able to still activate an effect that... Should draw a card? No, wait, I still need the monster. Um, mm. So if you double, activate, arm sage. Give me this one. Now I can do this. This is moderately whack. Special summon. Utopia Dragnar. Control after a draw resolution. But I'm not trying to... The thing is, I don't know if I could get... I didn't know if I could get double or nothing. If I can't get double or nothing, then I can't, you know, summon the Utopia Dragnar. Which is a problem. Unfortunately, with this one, I now have to go straight to Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can make something else immortal, but there's nothing else that I want. The only other one that would work... I guess I could still use Ultimate Leo and then attach both of these, but... I wouldn't be able to attach another material, which is a bit of a problem. Ultimate Draconic can still help me, though. Sylphid Wings in the Graveyard. Frickin'! I'm gonna take the gamble. I can't go back on it, no. Also, Droll affects both players. Hmm? I already know that. This is frickin' awful. <laughs> I can Unicorn Spear. Hmm. I don't want to just attach the Unicorn Spear for very specific reasons. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Ashura Strike. See if I can read well enough. Call me a tear whore for running droll. Look at this just whore. SMH. <laughs> what? I can't be a tear whore too? Oh, you're gonna say I can't be a tear whore because I run the cards that I do. Alright, so either evenly matched me or kaiju me. It'll be funny, I'm sure. Speed droid? Uh, if you have a freaking uh, junk speeder, then. Junk... Is it Junk Speeder? What's it called? Right of... Aramizer. Control no adventurer token, special summon a token. What am I looking at? Play pure wind deck with Speedroid? What does this do? What does this mean?
I don't feel like looking at any of this. I can't negate it anyway. Don't matter. None of this matters. And shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do negate the activation, if you do that, destroy that card, you can only use whatever the hell. Ah, well, there it goes. Utopia Dragonar. So got the other one. So, the gamble was stupid, I'm realizing, or thinking. The, the reason I didn't summon Unicorn Spear immediately is because if he targets uh, Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray with something that's like basically supposed to end up killing himself, or having... If he does something like, oh, this monster has zero damage, but your opponent takes the battle damage that this would take, then... I can surprise him by attaching the Unicorn Spear, and then he kills himself, actually. But, uh, this is not a deck that I believe will do that. So... Mm. Kill me already! Also, I'm sorry that I thought you were a bot with a name like this. This card is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can target one Zodiac monster. Oh, I remember Zodiacs, where you Xe summon yourself over and over again. Yeah! That's the next Zodiac! And then you exist summon again unto yourself. You better not frickin' Zeus me, dude. Oh, I swear to god, you better not Zeus me. No, he wouldn't have summoned all this if he were gonna Zeus me. You that that's nope. Nope, you're dumb. Unless you're destroying one of your own cards, you're dumb. You're dumb. I remember one time Munch and Lax was playing through Max C. I played and I had so many cards they didn't fit at the bottom. I couldn't see some of them and playing was actually hard. <laughs> a friend of mine did that and caused someone a timeout. Because <laughs> the dude didn't know how, or he didn't know what he could do. He had too many options. Well? Play your last pathetic card, Zid. Thankfully, you people put like 900 seconds. <laughs> There's a link summons. Please don't be something stupid. Ooh, I have never seen that card before. Monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effect. If this card would be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard. You can send one level 3 monster from your deck to your graveyard, then target one burning abyss monster on the field. It gains attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of the monster sent to the graveyard till the end of this turn. Why did you summon this? Yeah? lobby after this yeah I'm down to try one it depends how many of you guys would like to would actually join the lobby I would okay oh yeah so you can bully me again I'm not gonna lie, guys, I kinda like Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray more than Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. When are we get in that VR Yu Gi Oh game, when is that happening? I want that to actually be like a really. What the hell are you doing? I want that to be a really good um, Yu Gi Oh client in the future so that I can legitimately play. What? 
Why are you summoning my Utopia double? What are you doing? Um, what was I saying? A VR Yu-Gi-Oh game, good, want it. Um, I would like for that to happen. Link 3, Nightmare Unicorn. Doesn't this destroy? No. Shuffle it into the deck. Okay, well, there goes Tornado Bringer. Now, Unic now Draconic Utopia Ray can be targeted. Now what? Ah! Ah! Link 4. Ah, cool! Access code docker! Let's go! Yeah! Um. <laughs> and Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer Destroyer, whatever the hell. What? You time out? Oh my god, he. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yikes. That's crazy. Actual idiot, absolute moron, for real, for real. Frieza, you fool. Oh no. 900 seconds. Life points, 8k, all the rest of that good stuff. Oh wait, hold up. Max room occupancy, let's go to 50. Okay, I am going to say this once, one time for anyone that is going to play. I will be on the first cabinet, and only the first cabinet. Since I cannot spectate... Oh wait, I can, actually. I can spectate, but we're not gonna do that here, not this time. It's just me. If you guys play on another cabinet and it is your turn, you will be skipped. Since apparently that was not clear last time. I did not say anything. I gotta get the ID. Um, I did not say anything, but I'm saying it this time. You play another game, waiting for me. I will not play you and I will play the next person in line. Whoops. Now I gotta pin that. <sighs> All right, let's go. Who is girl band cry? I don't know, dude. I have no clue. Okay, he left. He might not have left. It is a public lobby. Might just be a random. No oh, damn, I clicked start first. Is that a bad thing? Oh, we lost. Oh yeah, we definitely lost. Okay. Well, GG's everybody. Go home. <clears throat> Oh, what? What the heck? Wait. I can hear you, but don't see. Don't spoil your hand. That's why I didn't say it out loud. That's the reason why we lost that card that I just discarded. Now you max C? Uh... 
Uh, this is useless. This is useful. This could very easily be whack. Activate one effect. Activate two effects. Brick eyes, photon dragon. <laughs> Ah! What a fricked up day! It's okay, I didn't need that. Bro, piss off! How many hand traps do you- What? Why do you have two of these? And why are you able to activate two in a row? This isn't a one per turn thing? What? Whatever. I don't care. I... It's fine. Oh yeah, it doesn't do that from the hand? Oh, you what? You thought you could negate the spell slot? I see. Yeah, no. Nah. This is as whack as it gets. You're gonna Ash Blossom me, dude? Really? Really? Go ahead, do it! Do it. Ash Blossom me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hand traps are never once per turn, but... But hand traps are. What? What? Was there a joke here that's flying over my head? This is freaking stupid. I hope you know. <sighs> I mean, like, I can't kill you in one turn. I was so ready for you to have, like, a battle fader or something. Sangan kind of ugly in 3D. What? How dare you? You don't see me insulting your whatever this is. Keep Sangan alone. He tries his best. 10 out of 10 Utopia board. Bro, he had like three negates. This isn't my fault. I played through three negates and I still got what I wanted. Sort of. So we just played around it. Let's return and increase this card's level by four until the end of this turn. You can trigger this card. Yeah, whatever. Target one photon and galaxy monster equip something or whatever to it. Photon Vanquisher. Technically it is, you chose to play Utopia. I... I... This card is special summon, add one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your deck to your hand. Okay. No, that's a bad idea. Wait, what level do you need to be? Hold on. I feel like this would be a choke. You have three cards in hand, you're trying to add a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon no, because you're still going to exist some in either way. <sighs> ah! I'll gamble. No, I won't. I'll... Yes, I... No. Yes. Mm. 
You need Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That much is for sure. I'm negating it. Yeah, I knew I should have saved it. What does this do? Oh, that's cool. Why didn't you just play that? Why did you go through all the hassle? Why didn't you just play it? It's Jover, he's a thousand percent dead. You don't know that! Killian bricked, he said. Maybe, maybe the, the full brick is coming now. This dragon maid laundry, it's the worst dragon maid, yet somehow out of all of them, it was chosen as a representative avatar because of the fan art of her and with Golden Lord of and Lab? What? What the heck? I was bricked, not anymore. Bro, it's Photon? What does that mean? Only thing I know about Photon is that they do what Utopia does, but better. They get like a billion damage beat stick. Like that. That's not the end of it. It means you are die. <sighs> Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. No, Prime Photon Dragon. Screwed up the OTK? Yikes. Never mind, maybe not. What? What do you mean? How? You, ah, that's cool. Yeah, and then BM me? Wait, can it not attack face? Three attacks on monsters- oh, on monsters during the battle phase of- okay, it can't hit face. Uh, this next card is break- make or break. Okay, Utopia doesn't have a one-card combo starter. You don't know that! This is fine if I can draw... I don't know... I feel like Zexel and Trust could help me. Galaxy Photon Drag. Numbers Last Hope. Pay half your life points and target two monsters in your graveyard. Special summon both, but negate their effects. And immediately after this effect resolves, you can summon one number. Okay, I was reading that. Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. That one's negate, isn't it? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Why does Galaxy Eyes have more support than Utopia? Like, what is this, dude? All of my cards come with, like, a condition of having less life than my opponent or something like that, and then you're out here just getting all of this for free. It's 
the Mal Lightning Storm. Yeah. I can stall. I'm confident because I've never seen you do it. I don't play the average Utopia deck. They tried for years to make Galaxy Guys good, but they forgot to add a starter. That's why first hand is always a brick. Oh. Why don't they just... What do you mean? Just give add some searches. That's all you gotta do. Just add some searches for him. Assuming your opponent doesn't have interruptions. I mean, I... Utopia has some searches. Hey, can you do me a favor and do 1,150 more damage to yourself again, please? Utopia has some searches, and they get negated pretty easily. The thing that Utopia needs is some form of negate themselves. Utopia isn't a Giga Chad, and the character who represents them had the most losing record out of all pro tags being 17. Leave Yuma alone. He tries his hardest. Leave Brittany alone. Hello? No click effects. Click effect. Oh, this monster effect is activated. Negate monster effect. Detach material is a galaxy card. Destroy that card. On this turn, click effect. Can take one photon or galaxy card from your deck. Either add it to your hand or attach it to this card's material. One of each of the following. Okay. There's oh. excellent trust. I mean, will that help me? I guess it will. No, because you're gonna... Wait, you can't... No, you're gonna... Wait, no, I can't. Okay, hold on. We're about to find out whether or not this was worth it. Special summon Utopia, face up attack. Don't know why I did that, but whatever, who cares. Number C-39. Utopia Ray. Number S-39. Utopia the Lightning. Battle phase. Let's return to attach one material from this card, then target one face up monster your opponent controls. Monsters your opponent control cannot attack your opponent directly for the rest of this turn except for this card. Also take control of the targeted monster till the end phase, but while that effect is applied, it has its effects negated. Its attack becomes 3k. Also, its name becomes Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. This card is Xyz Summon. Special Summon 1 Photon Monster from your hand. While this Xyz Monster is on the field, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with 2,000 or more attack with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects once per turn. You can attach one material from this card, then target one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon that is banished in your graveyard's Special Summon. This is a little bit of a rough spot. I'm still just stalling. I'm still just stalling. Ah, hmm. I thought I was in main phase one. Okay. Wow. 
lightning, what year is this? It's the year that I lose. Broke. Come on, bro, I gave you a turn. Yeah, I know. I know what you did. Doesn't matter. Just kill me already! Go to battle phase! Kill me! Don't make me hit the surrender button. If you play one more card effect, I'm hitting the surrender button. Okay. I... whatever. We're going to Oka. I can't do a misplay like that. I honestly thought I was in main phase one. Why'd I click that button, man? Whatever. Don't matter. Don't matter. None of this matters. Alright. Here's my prediction. You will not draw any hand traps at all. And I will get to complete my entire combo. Or I will draw at least... Never mind. Never mind at all. Yeah, no, we lost. We freaking lost. <laughs> Max C. I don't care about Max C. Pressured Planet Wraith Sloth. Spell card. Field spell. Limited to one. What does this do? Keshtira is fun. When this card is activated, you can add one Keshtira monster from your deck to your hand. Monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each different attribute on the field. Keshtira Shangri Era. If a Keshtira Shangri Era you control activates an effect, you can target one card in the field, destroy it. And only use this effect of Pressured Planet Race Sloth once per turn. What's up, Trashy? Damn, Warframe look different. What the hell? What do you mean? Where'd Warframe come from? When that Warframe stream? I never said I was gonna do that. Not that I remember, anyway. I will give you Wukong Prime if I have to. <laughs> I cannot assure you that I would use it. I'm only really interested in the Hydroid. I love how you. I love how Tier Elements is doing that really funny thing where they send half of their deck to the graveyard and then still win the game because all of their cards work off of getting sent to the graveyard. Oh, and that's gonna be. That's going to be a level, a rank 7 Xyz summon, and then another half of their graveyard sent- This is so stupid, dude! Like... Ah, just send everything. What did you- what? Question marks? Where's your Xyz summon? Oh, you're going to do that especially funny thing where you Xyz summon on my turn, aren't you? Go super polymerization. Control a Terrence monster, target one monster your opponent controls face down defense. Okay, cool. Cool.
only Exo Sister could Xyz on your turn? That's not true. What's the one other, um... Mathmex, I think? What's up, Dog the Dog? Yu-Gi-Oh! Bedge? But you're still here. People really show up in my chat just to complain about the game that is on screen. You lose ya. You right. Mathematics are dead, bro. Are they? The syrup is delicious. Is it now? Why have you synchro summoned a monster that you cannot use? Unless it's not affected by... You can't use that. You can't use Baron de Fleur. Why have you done this? No! Okay. Hey. Alright, so that was really funny. Can I play the game now? Is that allowed? Oh! Oh, this thing! Cool! Yeah. Alright. Alright. Held hostage? When your opponent is just a spectator? Actually, though, bro. I hope you deck out. I hope you deck out yourself. What does this do? I don't I don't feel like reading. Do whatever you want. Does this work? With ah, I can't, it wouldn't matter. I can only special summon once. He's whipping his deck out. You should deck out yourself now. Give someone else a piece of that Yu-Gi-Oh in the Yu-Gi-Oh. Rank 4. Cool. Why didn't you do this before? Time Thief re Redoer. Cast Testicular Torsion. I don't think that would save me. Screw you, dude. What'd you just take? Okay, I don't care about that. That much. Anyway. I mean, I don't really have a choice, right? Can I play the game now? This doesn't matter! Ah! Fun. Very fun. Good one. What's up, Goldmaker? She time on my feet till I redo her. <laughs> nice. Nice floodgate, dude. I'll hit you with mine. Thank you for the follow, Goldmaker. This sucks, bro. 
What even is this deck, dude? We got like partial tier horror with the, the hecking Kesh Tiras, and then the other partial tier horror with the tier laments. And we got half your deck in the freaking graveyard. Please, can you put the next 10 in there too? I would really like for that to happen. Zexel and sh not uh, high rank up Magic Zexel Force. I don't care that much about that. I don't like that all of your Xyz material is, they're all my cards except for these two. That's not fun. In every game, strong as a spectator, true. Why does Time Thief disattach count as F and not cost? What? Oh, count as an effect and not a cost? I don't know. Can we really out here just watching? I thought that was a fighting game thing. I hate it here, bro. I get no respect. None at all. I don't know why I'm doing this. I got nothing. I got nothing. You don't get respect, you earn it. <sighs> Have I not earned it? You see how hard I try with everything that is suboptimal? Is that not worthy of some respect? Raigeki? Don't care. Kinda care, but... Oh, hey, Max C. Sub girl locker. Screw you, dude. Now nah, you won't get respect for inflicting self torture. Uh, whatever. Square up, Tenjin. Come on, let's go. So when are you going to do the arcade run for ABBA? Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that anytime soon, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try like tonight or something. What's the deal with arcade mode? Do you like face an enhanced version of yourself at the end of the run? Is that what's going on? Because I remember trying that as Nagori Yuki and I thought that the I thought that the super boss at the end of arcade mode was always Nagori Yuki. Is that not it? Listen, maybe I wouldn't have done that if you didn't run that trap card. Why did you just destroy the trap card? You ever think of that one? That would have been kind of cool, don't you think? Give me Astrotopia. Astrotopia. Remove overlay network. Pull in. Xyz change tactics. Activate Xyz change tactics. And now I will use both Ascended Sage and Astrotopia to Xyz summon number 39, Utopia Double. What's up, Big Broso? I've been posture -tracking. I activate Ascended Sage's effect and Xyz change tactics effect. So that I may... Oh, wait. I also activate Utopia Double's effect. So that I may now pull in... Double or nothing. And then... Special Summon number 99, Utopia Dragnar. Shut the heck up, you hecking weeb. <laughs> Draw a card. And pull in... Rank up magic Zexel Force. Utopia Dragnar's effect. 
Number 39, Utopia. Why does Steve have such a weeb name? What are you talking about? Oh, because it wouldn't let me use the word strong. I don't know why. That was something that I thought was really stupid. This tension is probably playing Marine Cess, hmm? And Strong just trying to inner monologue. It's not inner if I'm saying it out loud. Marine sus? True! All of the Marine sus cards are children. I'm gonna let Strange cosplay a Yu-Gi-Oh character for a bit, even though this is hella cringe. I'm not cringe, you're cringe. Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. Man out here summoning Pot of Greed just to draw Pax Filler. Uh, lightning Blade, Xyz Change Tactics, draw the Lightning Blades, Exile Construction, put back in Double or Nothing, pull out my cock, I mean Tornado Bringer. Activate Zexel, or whatever the heck, Breakup Magic Zexel Forces Graveyard Effect, pull in that card, that's actually pretty good. Uh, and now, I activate this. And I activate this. Also, you missed this message, I bought Tekken 8 and started learning King. I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, I don't need this card yet. And I do think it would be good to play this. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Usually I regret it when I blow this load in particular too quickly, but we'll see how it goes. The problem right here is that I only have five spell slots. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. I lost coin toss alt F4. <laughs> Outer inner monologue. When does he start assembling Exodia? Okay, well, uh, cool, I guess. This isn't useful anymore, and you already know this would have only been so useful, but these are fine. Field spell. I don't have any field spells. The only one that would have worked is like freaking Zexel Field, but that thing sucks. It doesn't do anything for me. The thing that really pisses me off about Zexel Field is like part of its effect is put Shining Draw on top of your your freaking deck before you before the draw phase, right? And now the thing Shining Draw is bad though. Because it lets me attach a bunch of my ZWs to one of my Utopia monsters, and that would be fine. But, it doesn't actually give them the damage. It only gives them the effects. So it's meaningless. Yeah, sure. Do, do your blue slug thing. I don't care about blue slug. Blue slug's not the choke. I don't remember what the choke was. But it's not that. Fun fact, according to Elfelt, Arcade Mode, Nago saw her in the dressing room. Nice. The heck is a Marine Cess? It's these water slug lollies that Tenjin has a hard on for that I hate. Summons a bunch of them and then suddenly I die. This card is Link Summon, add one Marine Cess spell from your deck to your hand, can only Link Summon one... I don't remember what the choke... This is the choke? This is the choke because that's the one that gives you the spell card that I... that's a problem, right? Yeah, the one that lets you equip. The gate. Water slug lollies, this is next level. It's another shifter deck. 
Shifter? What does what a shifter mean? Don't tell me you're about to link the same things again. I swear. Ah. Marine cess, coral, anemone. Target one water monster with that much or less attacking a graveyard special summon to the zone. Points to... This card is sent from the field of the graveyard. Target one marine cess card. No, wait, hang on. None of these are like once per turn per summon or whatever, are they? It's like, what Splatoon characters? Oh, Shifter, I thought that said Crapper. I mean, it might as well be. Dimensional Shifter. Hmm? They're like, at Ignis, they're the worse. Exactly. Okay, can you decide on a single archetype instead of just playing three in one deck? I know, right? Puts like three different things in the one deck and somehow it works and it all just freaking rips me a new one. I, I hate it. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send one Marine Cess monster from- I was reading that. Yeah, love this guy. Tear Horror, World Sea Dragon Zeolantis. Love him. Great. Great. Is he dead? Feels like it. Banishment. Had to be banishment, huh? There is but one card that can save me. Uh, there, there's gotta be a way to do this, right? Right? This won't work on that. Okay, so there's a different way to do this. This is still possible. I'm gonna do this first, because I don't know what that trap card is, and I don't feel like dealing with it. Change all face-up monsters on the field to face-down defense position. I'm really glad I got rid of that. During the end phase of this turn, changes many face-down defense position monsters your opponent controls to face as possible to face-up defense position. Then your opponent draws cards equal to the number of monsters changed. Alright, well, yeah, alright. Who cares? Okay, uh, bring back Ascended Sage, Special Summon, Face Up Defense, bring back, or bring in Armed Sage, Utopia Rising, Face Up Defense, Dimensional Shifter can only be used if the user has no cards in the graveyard and you discard it to the graveyard with the Effect being, until the end of this turn, any card that would be sent to a graveyard is banished instead. Oh, that. Okay. Activate effect. Activate effect. And in all honesty, activate effect. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, that's, this is the one I'm bringing back. I'm almost- I was almost really stupid for a second. <laughs> that would have been bad. Bring back Utopia. Honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this one. I guess because it's just why not, right? Uh... No. Oh. Alright. Hmm. 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 
actually need this one. Yeah. I didn't need it, but it was it's benefiting me. Activate effect of ZW Ultimate Shield. Bring back Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. Face up defense. Attach Ultimate Shield to Ultimate Leo, I guess. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is like really whack, but it's fine. Uh, actually, oh well, no, wait, this is fine. This is entirely fine. It's not whack. In fact, this is based. This is nothing but based. Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. Give me... Sylphid Wing? Sylphid Wing. Hyper rank up magic. And with that, we pull in the main character. Number XX. Utopic Dark Infinity. Oh. Oh, right. Activate its effect. This thing's effect. And then activate this thing's effect. Negate this thing, just because. Resolve. Negation. Attachment. These are from my hand. This is from the deck. Sylphid Wing. Ashura Strike. Battle Phase! DIE! <laughs> Took you long enough? See what I'm talking about? No respect, bro! I freaking dual puzzle you! And no respect at all! Nothing! Honestly, so slow SMH typical Utopia player. I hate all of you. Every one of you. Every single one. Yeah, and all... All Yang Zing does is steal time from both players. Hmm? That is the power of the Utopic Dark Infinity. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Shown cheating on the coin toss? Hell yeah! You know me. Ah, uh, okay. First do this. Summoner Monk. Go frick yourself, because watch this. I'm about to not care. I'm about to not care, not ask. Get rid of this. Summon you. Face up defense. Activate you. What do I get rid of? Um, honestly, yeah. I don't need you anymore. You were helpful, but you're gone. Pull in you. Max C is in 94% of all decks, I think. And, so as I was saying, don't care, didn't ask. Also, I will draw just as many cards as you. Utopia Double. 
Xyz change tactics. And you know what? I'll even gamble. Don't draw double or nothing. Please don't draw double or nothing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Uh, pull you in. Yeah, well, they might draw good cards. And I might draw good cards. I draw just as many. Watch this. I'm about to show you the power of just playing through the max C. Utopia Dragmar. How you doing, Kira? Xyz change tactics. No. Number 39, Utopia. You would have already Nibiru'd me if you had it. Actually gonna make me deck out. <laughs> Hyper rank up magic. Almost forgot I sent that to the graveyard. What if I told you the max C was trash on release and people only saw the value of it two years later when someone topped, topped because of it? <laughs> I believe it. Frick me! I'm a little bit stupid? I'm not stupid at all, never mind. I'm a turbo genius, in fact. Sexual construction. Double or nothing. Um. Rank up magic, Sexual force. Rank up magic. Ultimate Leo. Tornado bringer. Draw. Draw. Monster Cardo. Uh, what's the answer here? I say answer as if there's a problem. What's the play next? This one. This one. Is this worth playing? I, it, the thing is, I know what you're gonna do. You're playing freaking Photon Dra- Are you? Wait, maybe you're not. Maybe you are. This. And then, against my better judgment, Silphid Wing. Yeah, we're good. See, just play through the, the max C. Just do it. What else is gonna happen? You'll draw just as many cards, you'll get a decent board. He's got how many in his freaking hand right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I was counting that. Uh-oh. Bruh. This card is activated special summon one of your level four monsters or something. Level 4 lower mutant monsters from your hand, or that is banished. Okay. Mutant monsters you control gain 100 attack for each of your banished mutant cards with different names. Once per turn during your main phase, place one mutant monster from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Thanks for the silpid wing, dummy. Add one mutant spell trap from your deck. What? Is this useless? I feel like this might end up useless. Grave of the Super Ancient. Are all the mutants level twos and threes and nothings? 
This card is normal special summon. Add one mutant monster from your deck to your hand, except whatever. Uh, do whatever you want. You still got five cards, six cards in hand. I'm trying another deck. Oh boy. Max C is one hell of a drug and you need to lay off it. <laughs> Better kill him on this turn? I am not sure if I can. Depends on what this deck does. I've never seen mutants. That trap is really annoying. Good! This is the best floodgate in the game. More people should run it. I'm gonna bring it in the S tier. Just like Utopia. Break your meta cards. I'm gonna play whatever I want. I'm gonna play Into the Max C, all the Utopias, Grave of the Super Ancient, enemy doesn't get to play the game. I'm gonna earn the respect that I so deserve. He's back on the coke. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. A bot just like that? Hey, goodbye. What did you summon? Mutant Arsenal? Don't care, didn't ask. Also, you're a special summon level 8. What did the bot say? Something about buying viewers. You control a mutant mo card. You can special summon this card from your hand. Tribute this card, then banish one mutant card from your hand or deck. Special summon one monster from your hand or deck based on the banished card. But lose life points equal to the special summon monster. Okay. What's up, Diamond Uo? Fantastic speech punctuated by bot. <laughs> Wait, no, deck is fusion based? Hmm? Either the deck is Xyz based. Uh, no, he wouldn't be annoyed by Grave of the Super Ancient if it were, if mutants were. Because then he would just be able to get around the level limit. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Losing! Lose faster! Because everyone's gonna say I'm taking too long. I'm sorry, I'm toxic? Please forgive me. I didn't mean it. Really, I didn't mean it. Ah, pray to play it! Wait, I don't care about this thing. Wait, yes I do! Target one face-up monster in the field, it becomes dark until the end of this turn. You can pay 2,000 life points and send one fusion or polymerization normal quick play spell from your deck to the graveyard. This effect becomes a spell's effect when that card is activated. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. Pay your life points. Go ahead. Do it. You can target one of your banished monsters except Nemesis Keystone. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, shuffle that target to the deck. During the end phase, if this card is currently banished, it was ban and was banished this turn, add this card to your hand. What the hell? Oh, Nemesis cards are weird. I think I've seen one of these. It was an ultra rare. Should do another max C challenge for deck out. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to deck someone out with Utopia. That doesn't work. Oh, thank God that wasn't a, what it was actually. No, that was Underworld Abyss Closet chick, whatever it is. Why did you do that for Utopia Dragnar? And what? You're throwing. You're throwing. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent con currently controls. Well, I mean, I guess I have to do this in response. Never seen your Utopias, wasn't sure which one to pick. Okay, so Utopia Dragnar, although he had 6k attack, he couldn't hit face because he was summoned by Utopia Double. Not to mention he didn't have anything protecting him. There's a reason I only attach all of my ZWs to specifically Ultimate Leo. 
And I didn't want to take too long because you said to hurry up. No, that was a joke. It was a joke. I didn't mean it. No, now I actually feel bad because you did the same thing that I do. Activate Astrotopia's effect. Wait, was it actually? Was what actually? This card is activated special summon one Helios, the Primordial Sun. What does that do? Was it a joke? Was what a joke? When you activate this card, you can take one level 4 or lower mutant monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Level 8 or higher mutant monster you control would be destroyed by card effect and banish this card control instead. What is happening? Bro, hey, can you not 5-chain on my turn? Oh, we still going? 6-chain? What are you doing? Shuffling a fusion... Fusion summon one mutant fusion monster from your extra deck by shuffling fusion material. I'm freaking reading here. You can't use that. Are you telling me to hurry up? Yes, it was a joke. I was not serious when I said that. I'm not actually going to try to rush you. Silphid Wing. You target one card in the field, destroy it. When your opponent activates a card effect, quick effect, you can activate this effect for the rest of this turn. This face up card is unaffected by effects of an opponent's card of the same type, monster, spell, or trap as that card. If this fusion card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can add one of your banished mutant cards to your hand. Nobody reads in Yu-Gi-Oh. True. I... What the heck is happening? What's up? Okay, so your name is either Yu or Yue. How you doing? Hello? That's supposed to be hello, but spelt strangely. Mutant Beast, this thing is still irrelevant because this is the best card in the game. You are. Ah, okay. I was wrong both times. Shoot. Why am I unable to activate Astrotopia's effect? Question marks? Is there something on the field preventing me from activating my own cards? No, because that, that can't be right, because this thing can still activate. Astrotopia? Am I dumb? Did I use Astrotopia's effect? No, I special summoned him. Then you did a billion chains in response to me special summoning a monster. Don't think I'm blocking anything? Question marks? Games bugged? We lost? Macro Cosmos? Hmm? When this card is activated, special summon one Helios, the Primordial Sun, from your hand or deck. While this card is face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. That has nothing to do. This is the thing that just lets you save a level 8 or higher mutant. These can't. Unless they have a lasting effect. Unless. Does anything need. Does anything need to hit Graveyard as a cost? I uh, yeah. Astrotopia needs to send something to the Graveyard. What's being... What's negating that? Can't send to the Graveyard. Okay. Crazy Astronaut is winning only by using the funny Floodgate. You're in... Okay. Macrocosmos. Oh, okay. Wait, so... 
Hold on, no. What? If it's still stuck, anything that's sent to the graveyard would be banished instead. But that means that anything that should send to the graveyard just cannot be activated because it can't be sent specifically to the graveyard? Because that doesn't make... That's not... I should still be able to activate it, it just gets sent to the graveyard instead. That's it. Right? This this card is normal or special summon. Add one mutant spell card spell trap from your deck to your hand. Tribute this card, then banish one card from your hand or face up field. Special summon one monster from your hand or deck. Banish on the base on the banished card. Monster, mutant beast, spell, mutant mist, trap, mutant arsenal. You only use each once per turn. This card is fusion summon target one card in the field, destroy it. I already read that. This fusion card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card. You can add one banished mutant card from your hand, only use each effect once per turn. Opponent cannot target this card with monster effects, and only use each of the following effects of mutant beast once per turn. When your opponent activates a spell card or effect, banish one card from your hand or field, negate the activation if you do banish that card. This card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card. Target one banished mutant trap. Add it to your hand. This is negated, so it shouldn't even be doing anything. Special summon one of your level four lower mutant monsters from your hand or the banished or that is banished mutant monster control gain a hundred attack for each of your read twitch chat my god oka you don't have to send me a steam message what psa if the card specifically states to send something to the graveyard that effect cannot activate if there's something that is forced to banish so for example you actually cannot activate max c under shifter okay got it Yu-Gi-Oh rule weird Well then, now what? Now I guess I can just... I just have to hit something. Well, wait. Hang on. Yeah, no, there's nothing else to do. God, I wish that it killed you. This is the only usable card you have right now. Jesus Christ, I had to DM him for him to read us. You missed lethal? What are you talking about? How much damage did Underworld have? 3k reduced to 1,500. This would have been reduced to... Uh-oh. There goes the entire extra deck. This would have been reduced to... Some odd number. Should have halved attack on Link. It was already halved. I negated it the turn prior, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, that's why it had a 1,500 attack. It's a proven fact that Yu-Gi-Oh players can't read what makes you think he'll read chat. What? All right, you're funny. Go ahead. You have that. 1,350 would have been the fusion. Wouldn't he have still lived slightly? No, he would have... He would have lived with, like, a sliver of health. 250? Or 150? Something low. Isn't this bad for you? If you fuse into a monster that's above level 6, then you're boned. Just cowboy for game? What does that mean? Another fusion that I can't use. <laughs> Honestly, you really could have just won this game if you had used Underworld of the Abyss on specifically uh, Ultimate Leo.
Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Hmm. I don't remember that card. I know Gaga Gaga. Gaga ga, ga Magician, but not Cowboy. Listen, all we have to do is play a deck that only uses level 2s against Strange, and he can't win. This, but actually. And your turn already! I'm kidding. Wait, I shouldn't rush you because you'll take it seriously and I don't mean it. Melfi or the other Pearly are just hard counters to you. Hmm? Alright, the hard counters to me, or at least specifically Grave of the Super Ancient, are. Like, Xyz summons, Link summons, and then anything that can somehow work with just being under level 6, or, I don't know how you would do this, normal summoning consistently, because something that you have to take into consideration is, this only negates special summon to level 6 or higher. Something that I usually forget about. All right, and you see, unlike you, I won't DM you. I'll make it quick. Oh my God, he's still playing. Oh my God, he's still playing. Uh -huh. Isn't Noir level seven? What? What is Noir? Mutant Ultimus. Not a defense position monster! What would this do? I, I don't need to read it. You know what? Ha. There's a way to kill you. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. No, there isn't! What do I have in my... Hold up. I can't rank up. That much is for certain. Double or nothing is in the graveyard. I can't Zexal and Trust. I can Xyz... But why? That wouldn't help me. Unless... Wait, Double or Nothing should be... I Zexal and Trusted it? Yo, I think I'm about to, like, big brain play you. Hold up. If this works out the way that I want it to, then, like... Uh... Hold up. Hold up. Wait... Uh, just to get this off of my screen. Thank you for following... You, uh... Negate. Summoner Monk. Effect Activation. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's excellent trust. Sent to the graveyard. Oof. Uh... What? Wait, actually, why am I doing this? It doesn't matter. Z's summon. Utopia rising. Face up defense position. Utopia rising. Activate that ability. Activate Xyz change tactics for no particular reason. Use Utopia rising special effect. Bring back Utopia double. Face up defense. Attach Xyz material to Utopia Double. Infinite Impermanence. Pull this in for no particular reason. 
activate Utopia Double's effect because I put Double or Nothing back into the frickin' deck. Pull in, Double or Nothing, Special Summon, number C39, Utopia Ray V. Activate Xyz's change tactics for the BM. And then activate number C39, Utopia Ray V's special effect. Astrotopia sent to the graveyard. Your fusion monster is dead. What is this? What'd you just do? Ah, why, dude? You're supposed to die! Die already! What are you here for? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's fine. You are gonna die. I forgot it's main phase one. I didn't even need to dual puzzle you. Again for the BM. Draw another card. Battle phase. I should read this to make sure it doesn't have a graveyard effect. When a card or effect is activated, banish one mutant card from your graveyard hand graveyard or face up field of the same type. Monster spell or trap negate the activation. If you do banish that card, this fusion summon card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card. You can add up to three of your banished mutant cards, up to one of each of monster, and then shoot. One of each monster spell and trap to your hand, whatever, no graveyard effect, just frickin' kill him. You... What do you mean? Banishment effect. Better not have some stupid hand trap that works in battle phase, I swear to god. Can't win, but I can't lose either. Can't activate anything in response to that. Hit face for way more than I need. My god. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy, a Strive tournament would finish and Strange would still be doing his turn? It's not my fault! Killian's the one hanging on by a thread, dude! That Utopia Ray V should have killed him, but he saved his monster, so he didn't have to take the damage. Uh, gotta work for that kill. We stay winning. On this... On this day, I'm losing every coin toss? Hmm? Oh, it's cool. Double bricked up on a Monday morning. Again. Sick, dude. Like, turbo bricked, in fact. All because of this. It's not just like your average everyday brick. It's a uh, I cannot play the game for at least three turns brick. There's one specific car that will save. What the hell is this thing? When this card is normal, summon special summon one level three fiend monster from your hand or deck, but negate its effects. Also, you cannot be it cannot be used as synchro material. Okay. Tour guide from the underworld. What's up with you and these like flat chested chicks? You got something to say, Tengen? Oh wait, no, this is okay. Never mind. <laughs> Oops, calling out the wrong guy. My statement still stands, but for a different person. Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Fiendish monsters you control except Fiendish Rhino Warrior cannot be destroyed. I don't care. Do whatever. Do whatever you want.
Unchained Soul of Yama. This card is special summon. Add one. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Unchained Soul of Char Charvara? I still don't feel like reading in all honesty. Target one Unchained monster you control and one card on the field. Destroy both. If this set card is destroyed by a card effect, special summon one Unchained monster from your deck. Okay. What the hell is happening? Bro, how much do you play this game? Why you got like 800 different deck types? Thank you for the follow, Mr. Azimsack. Forgive me if I've said your name incorrectly. Call me Azim. <laughs> you saw that coming. Straight from the get-go, you knew I would do it. <laughs> from Malaysia? Oh, sick. There are... Alright, so there are no commands, but there is a Discord. If you scroll down, you can click the picture that says Discord, and that will lead you to the Discord. Where's the choke point already? Hit me with the big monster that matters. Well, I've got like 10 plus decks. Am I the only one that only plays one deck? I am. I'm too much of a character loyalist, bro. Unchained Soul of Rage. During your opponent's main phase, you can target one face-up special summon monster your opponent controls. Immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon one Dark Link monster, except Unchained Soul of Rage. By using only that opponent's monster and this card, you control his material. This card is on the field. It's destroyed by battle or card effect. Target one Fiend monster in your graveyard, except Unchained Soul of Rage. This is freaking stupid. What? So you just get budget Unchained Soul Abyss whatever. That's not cool. The choke point is there is none. You know, I believe that. It's just been him... Why are you gonna be playing all the cards, or all the decks that send your cards to your own graveyard, dude? I hope... I really hope... That you... Fight... The decks that just banish all of the monsters in your deck or whatever, just half your deck immediately goes to the banishment zone of the graveyard. Just straight out the gate. I hope that happens to you consistently so that you do not get to play the game and you instantly lose from deck out. DDD Wave High King. You're going to play DDD Wave High King without the rest of the DDDs? Nuts. Oh, whoops. I forgot this was turn two. My brother in Christ. A spell trap card and monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster. Quick effect negate that monster. Destroy that card. Take. Okay. Mm. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm bricked up. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to do this to stall. And then you negate it. Or not. Oh, wait, you have, like, graveyard effects that trigger, don't you? Yeah. Someone played Dark Law against this guy? What is Dark Law? Is that the, is that the, the deck I was talking about? The one that banishes half of your deck?
New fighter will be who can get higher attack points. Oh, that's easy for me. Actually, Unchained doesn't care about cards getting banned. Also, you lost. I lost? Unchained have effects when destroyed by card effects, so uh, don't destroy by card effects. <laughs> uh, you see, I didn't have a choice. Hey, remember when it's my phase one? My main phase one? It's my turn? It's turn three? Yeah, me neither. Yep. Yeah, me neither. Dark lock and make it to where cards go to the banished zone instead of graveyard. Ah. Okay, hold on, what? I need an explanation for what just happened here. Unless it wasn't the card that I was negating that destroyed my card. Isn't this the card I was negating? Yeah, okay, why did that happen? Do I get one unchained monster you control and one card in the field? Oh, I see, okay. So this is what happened. I assume. Please kill me in one hit. Ask me if any question. Did you watch Symf Symfo Gear before? No, I have not seen... That's, that's an anime, right? It's not a mech anime, is it? I'm looking that one up. Oh. This looks... This looks like a different anime that I saw. It's like almost mech looking, but it's with magical girls. What's the other one? Vivid Red Operation? Something like that? Oh, hey, it's a DDD King, whatever the heck I lose. I remember the days when we would only play traps on opponents' turns. <laughs> the heck, man? It's messed up. Yeah, ever since 2018, decks now make plays on your turn. That I already knew. But, like, why do they get two turns when I get half of one? And again, I could run the same cards, there's no real, uh... Something really stopping me. Or better, why doesn't Utopia get to do the same thing? Why am I the only one that wants to play the card game in such a way that both of us get to play? Where there's player interaction, you know? Everyone else is out here playing the card game where it's like, okay, I will now play cards on your turn, or I will flat out prevent you from playing cards on your turn in general. But me? Me, I say, okay, you're limited a little bit, here's my beat stick, if you can get past this, you get to win. Oh, there's interaction, it's just the interaction that allows me to win. That's not interaction, that's a beatdown. <laughs> That's a movie. Same difference. Because you're from 2014, you missed the update window by arriving too early. Shh. 
Surely Utopia will get some new support cards soon. Clueless. Alright, it's time to lose. Ash Blossom me. Yeah! Do it! Do it! GG. I'm the same strong. I play high attack. See, you and me, we're great. We enjoy the enemy player playing the game. But Oka, nah. Tenjin, kinda. Anyone else? Mm -mm. Messed up. Messed up world we live in, dude. Truly. Truly. Marine says blue slug. And then Marine says blue slug into whichever the white one is. And the white one into the field spell. And then the field spell into like six more links. And then all of those links into attach three Marine says to this one card. And then now hit me for face. Hit me for 3k or something. Man still thinks numbers can only be destroyed by number. <laughs> <sighs> Did he brick? You double bricked up again? I mean, I bricked again, doesn't really matter. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, as I was saying, Zexel Construction. You have another freaking Ash Blossom, dude. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh my God. What's up, Justice H? I don't care. Didn't ask. Also, you play a bunch of sea, sea urchins. Bottom feeders. What are they? Hi, GG's, I got a meeting to go to. Have fun, strong. See you, Oka. GG's, my man. Playing Cheat Turbo, want a duel? Cheat Turbo? What does that mean? Do I want to find out what that means? Infinite Imperm. Good one. Only really good if I can go first, though. <laughs> Die. Let him play. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever wants me to play. If it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, then it's fighting games, and it's me getting bodied in those. She runic on my top till I fountain. No, runic decks. No, I hate runic. Marine cess. Another marine cess. Link two. Princess Blue Slug. Man wants to enjoy his number cards. For real, for real. Play some heckin' predecessor. Who? That's a weird way to spell Utopia.
see Angel. Okay, now we lose. And then that. And then field spell. Do it already. Field spell. And then there's like two more links or something, and then we attach everything to the summons. Summon a monster with 14 attack opponent. I'll give you my bottomless trap hole. Can't I'm under 15 attack. Huh? Is this a euphemism or is there something I'm not getting here because of card effects that I should know but don't? Aren't you playing Palio? Who? Like I said, the only deck I try to play is Utopia at the moment. I wanted to make some sharks, but sharks kind of got nothing. They have some cards that work, but... Hmm. I was thinking about editing this deck so that I can actually run... Um... Number F0 Utopic Future and Number F0 Utopic Draco Future. But I would need Rank Down Magic, and I don't have a way to consistently search for Rank Down Magic. I get it, Sans. I don't. I'm glad you got it, though. No, I don't think so. What does this thing do again? Opponent's monsters can attack any monsters except this one. Only use each of the following effects of Marine Says Aqua Argonaut once per turn. You can target one water monster you control, add one card your opponent controls. Return them to the hand. During your opponent's turn, when a spell trap card or effect is activated on the field, quick effect cannot. Special summon one of your Marine Cess monster cards. Don't do it. You're making a big mistake. Tried to warn you. Can't use this! Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh well. I literally do not care. <laughs> okay. Damn, I'm sorry. Well, this this won't kill you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I'm not doing this math. Someone else do this math for me. If I see like a drowning mirror force, I swear to God. Ah! <laughs> Bottomless trap hole only affects monsters with 1500 attack, and what you summon is under requirement. Age. Ah, I see. Man's playing the Zexel cast. Yeah! Because you can't exist by using number F0 Utopic Future as material for Utopic Draco Future? Yes, you can. Utopic Draco Future specifies you can use a number F0 Utopic Future as material. You know what card I like? The Utopia card with 2,510? Oh, is that, uh... This? No, it's 2,800. Which card are you... Oh, wait, are you talking about, um... Rick, it's Utopia Beyond? Not Beyond. This one's Utopia Beyond, I think, right? Utopia Prime? I think that's Utopia Prime. I tried to find a way to fit that into the deck, and I just couldn't. It's, it's too weird. It's Utopia Light. 
I think. I'm pretty sure it's Utopia Prime. What does that thing do again? It's like... When it's special summon, reduce your life points to a specific number, and then destroy three opponent cards, and if you successfully destroy them, banish them instead. And then there was one more thing on top of that, but I don't remember what the last one was. But it's just so, like... When is this useful? I think there also needed to be, like, a 3,000 point health gap in your health. You need to be lower. Don't do it, I'll scream. Don't do it. Don't do it, I'll scream. Did you use Crystal Heart to summon this thing? Is Crystal Heart the one that, like... Effect Resolution... Yes, you did. Okay. Well, yeah, we lost. We lost! No! My unicorn spear. There is, like, one card that can save me here. Only one. Oof, Utopia Prime is an issue. The fact that I don't have it? Surely that's not what he means. Frick! Okay, GG's. GG, go to next. do this, but it's not going to mean anything. You better win or else I'm going to be disappointed. I'm sorry, I can't work with or work against two negates in a row. Brick? I I didn't brick. He bricked harder than I did at the beginning, but he still had hand traps, and the hand traps are what mattered. Ugh. Just super poly forehead. Super poly for what? You have you look at this extra deck. Do you see this? There are two cards in my extra deck that, that do not have Utopia in the name, but they do in the description. Called by the grave. Ew. Are you disrespecting Utopia Lightning? He didn't even do anything. Oh well, preach your Yu-Gi-Oh tag, Yu-Gi-Oh protag nonsense. I. There is none. None left, anyway. How could you? How did you destroy my number without a number? <laughs> uh. Was that a big thing in the anime? Numbers not being able to be destroyed by other numbers? Or unless it was from another number? Kill me already! Oh, wait, no, you... Never mind. I see, you don't have the damage. Now you do. Kill me. Frick your special summoning. Yeah, that was a stupid rule they added in Zexel. That literally was a plot of Zexel. I'm gonna be real with you, I did not watch Zexel. 
I am none but a poser. It's probably the one I watched the most out of all of the Yu-Gi-Oh's, except for maybe 5Ds, I don't know. But, oh, what, this freaking tear whore! You see this? Cross out designator called by the grave forbidden droplet. Yikes, dude. Ooh, ew. That's the worst of them all. <laughs> Five Ds is amazing. I liked Five Ds. What was wrong with Zexel? I, I heard that it only gets good in the, like the last five episodes or something. In a more than twenty episode series. Didn't watch the worst Protag show yet. Plays their deck. Like I said, leave Yuma alone, he tries his hardest. Anyway, BGs, imagine losing to Bricked Marine Sis. My god, toxic, bro. Toxic. Dylan. I had two friends named Dylan. Say had is if they're gone. I mean, they're still here. Well, one is. GGs, GGs. This is. I'm all washed up. It's okay, guys. Maybe his deck is one of those decks that requires me to play a card. Who am I fighting right now, by the way? You! 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 Solemn Judgment. I'm gonna shuffle that one back in. Well, it looks like we freaking lost. Oh, that's cool. Hyper rank up magic. Droll and lock. You don't get to play the game anymore. Got him. Guy got a magician. Armed sage. Bro, looking at chat professional stream around here. Hmm. Time to duel me. I'm doing. Ah, okay. I see. My bad. Utopia. Hyper rank up magic. Utopia Dragnar. Utopia dragging these nards across your forehead. I think I've made this joke on stream before. I'm not sure. I know I made it in the friend group that I'm in, but... I'm still... uncertain. Number 99, Utopic Dragon. And attach its material, again, to resummon Utopia. In defense position. But why? That. Hmm? Oh, can that not hit face if it does its uh, its effect? Okay, what's the play here? No, something I can do. The thing I'm worried about is this trap card, or whatever this face down is. Numbers protection. When a spell trap or monster effect is activated, while well, you control a number exceeds monster. Okay. All right. All right. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, dude. The number of these monsters you control is destroyed by battle or card effect. Well, this card is in your graveyard. You can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. This is so... Why would you run this? You can't search it. You just... It's... Mm -hmm. Don't matter, none of this matters. Don't understand, bro. You can't... You can't search this card. It's a trap, so it's slow. Works only... No, it works against spell traps and effects. And you need to already have a number monster on the field. Like... What are you doing? Rank up magic's Exel Force. That's cool. What does this turn into? Ultimate Leo. Yeah! Let me guess. ZW... Dr oh no, that's Leo Arms. Okay. I thought it was going to be Draconic Halberd. Fun fact, 5Ds is only meant to go up to Dark Signs, Dark Signer's arc with Crow meant to be the big bad villain. Well, because of Blackwing's popularity IRL, the idea was changed, and because of view ratings, the show was forced to continue. Now about that, Jack X Carly, however, Carly VA was involved with a cult that was a bit, how you say, strange, so Carly got pushed as far away from the spotlight as possible, and the ship of Jack X Carly sunk. Ouch. Topia OP. True. I, n I Okay. I'm glad I scrolled down because I was about to fight you again. Why are, we, why are you on the fifth table instead of the first when there's nobody on the first three tables? What are we doing here? Hey, Luigi board. Oh, hey, uh... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Hold up. This is fine. I'm on the first now? Okay. Sick. Hey, remember when it was my turn? Okay, cool. Don't care, didn't ask, also, Xyz change tactics. I cannot wait to get hit by a tier 0 deck. Do I want to activate this thing's ability? Yes, I do. That's field. This is hand. good card to have. Uh, sorry, I've like semi-blanked. Utopia double. Effect. Effect. Back, Valor. I think you blew your load too quickly. Effect. Removed from the field for double or nothing. 
Jesus, why is it better to play against me? What do you mean? Utopia Dragnar. That doesn't kick in, I draw a card, I get one of my ZWs, I miss the activation timing, and then I continue on with my life by using this thing's effect. And then number 39, Utopia. had any viewer you would have used it by now. I am playing a little bit of a dangerous game by continuously letting you draw, but it's fine. That's an Ibiru. Ash Blossom? Okay. That only negated that draw, didn't it? Yeah. I can still do that again. I'm only concerned about two things right now. This is the final summon. Okay. I don't need anything from there. I mean, I guess I could just go for this. Don't know how good that's gonna be. And then this. And we're good. You sure got a hand. If you kaiju me, I will uninstall. The same goes for Lava Golem. That's not good. Uh, okay. I was done with one of those spell cards and I don't really need the other one. Strange decision. No, I guess it makes sense, but... Lightning Blade. What did you just get rid of? Junk Converter. Junk. Quick draw Synchron. Reinforcements in them boys! Junk Synchron! Hexy? If this ends up where I think it's going to, then I... Might know the choke, 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 choke. Synchro summon a level five. What level is the monster I'm thinking about? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Junk speeder. This card synchro summon special summon as many synchron tuners as possible with different levels. Yeah, that's where I. That's, that's where I say don't do that. Where I say that's a bad idea. Negate. No! No, you weren't supposed to surrender. I feel like such a villain every time my opponent surrenders. Alright. Maybe this time, things that I want to happen will happen. Don't brick me, don't brick me. 
We freaking lost. We freaking lost. Wait, no, wait. Maybe, maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. We're fine. Actually, we're we're great. We're fantastic. Yeah, I, I just, I saw like four spell cards and then I immediately panicked and thought I bricked. It's all good. Um. I know you don't run Nibiru because you play at Utopia, so this is home free. You will not play with fire. Fire is unpleasant. Need another fun deck? Oh boy! Oh, as in you're not playing Utopia. Oh, no. That means... That means we lost. Number 39... CW Lightning Blade, missed the activation timing, but I don't care. Utopia Ray. Heck are these draws, dude? Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. I feel like I should put another Xyz change tactics into my deck. I was really concerned that that was, like, evenly matched or something. Place one signal counter on this card. You can remove two signal counters from the, your field and send this face-up card to the graveyard. Draw two cards and send one card from your hand to the graveyard. What was that? Wheel Synchron. Illumination. Monster you control is 
contributed during the damage stuff. Except during the damage stuff, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard to banish it when it leaves the field. If a warrior synchro on a Stardust synchro monster to synchro summon using this card as material, you can special summon one Stardust token. Level 1, no attack and defense. Dragon Light. Okay, so this is combo filler. Stardust Dragon. Level 8. A card or effect is activated that would destroy a card in the field. Tribute this card, negate it. Uh, there's the token. Face downs might be a problem. The face up card you control leaves the field by your card effect or to activate the effects of your card. And the card that left the field was Stardust Dragon, or Synchro Monster that mentions it, apply one of the following effects, but you cannot apply the same effect of Majestic Mirage again this turn. Special summon one of those monsters, banish one monster from your opponent's field or graveyard, any damage you take this turn is halved. Shoot. There's not much I can do about that. Not... Oh, if a card you control leaves the field by card effect, or to activate the effect of your card, and the card that left the field was Stardust Dragon. Okay. Or a Synchro Monster that mentioned it. So that other trap card is probably something to force. Shoot. That forcibly removes that Stardust Dragon that I'm boned. Stardust monster in your graveyard special summon. That's it. Oh, is your intent to? Okay, I see. Was your intent to have me activate a card effect, tribute your Stardust Dragon, destroy or banish something else, and then... I... hmm. Trying to bait you? Yeah, I... okay. I see. I'm wondering if I could have had lethal there. Unlucky for me, you read cards. <laughs> I 
Why did the token... Wait, what? Arrive in night? In light. This card is activated. Place one level one dragon monster from your hand or deck on top of the deck. Neither player can return Stardust Dragon or a synchro monster that lists Stardust Dragon in its text from the field to the extra deck. If a synchro monster is special summoned, except during the damage step, you can apply one of these effects. But you cannot apply the same effect of Arrive in Light again this turn. Hmm. Damn, I lose. Oh. Card you control is used to synchro material can treat. I, I don't need to read this. Cool bike. <laughs> During your main phase, immediately after this effect resolved, normal summon one level four lower monster. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except synchro monsters. Thing. Oh. I thought the idea was use that and then summon something that can give you another synchro. There's another bike and junk synchro. Oh. Why is there... Why isn't there a... Hecking... ZW card that gives... Piercing. Brick. Uh, I think that was gonna be the... I think that's the last one. Unless you want to break this tie. Well, this will be the last one. There needs to be a ZW that gives piercing. I don't want to have to run this weird Link monster that uh, gives piercing to anything it touches. Oh no, bro. What? This isn't good. This would be a fantastic turn one hand. This game hate. <laughs> oh no, bro. Apparently Lumina might get more DLCs. No. Why are you saying no? Maybe it'll be good this time. I wish I could treat this like it's turn 2, but unfortunately, that's not within the realm of possibility. It's just not. Or is it? There would be no point, right? I mean, this one thing, one simple trick to piss off a Utopia player.
Is it that if they gave Utopia a piercing, it would be too much? Is that the reason why? Surely that's not it, right? I might add Dr. Rock. I don't want to learn that game. Disaster. <laughs> Luckily, I cannot lose this turn. Yeah, I know. I wish I could have played it like it was, um... Oh, frick me. Oh, I, I threw. Mildly. Oops! Yeah, I threw. I prayed that I would get the card that I needed, but unfortunately I did not. I, this is still doable. It's still doable. This is so whack. The main character. Utopic Dark Infinity. Not usually you see something like this happen. Shall not lose today. You sure won't. When a synchro summon Stardust Dragon, when you synchro summon Stardust Dragon, you can special summon this card from your graveyard in attack position. Each turn, the first time this card would be destroyed by battle, it is not destroyed. Okay. No. I'm kind of surprised that Type Lumina is going to be getting more DLC characters. I thought they would have finished support for that game by now, given how it's not as popular as you might think. But I guess the mobile game is carrying it super hard or something? Is that what's happening? The Fate mobile game is successful enough? So sorry, but you see only I get to continue playing the game. Sylphid Wing. That can't hit face. It can't hit face! It's got 10k, it can't hit face. Why don't I play Photon Dragons, dude? Oh wait, what? You- hold on, what? This thing being an attack means you die. I lose, or can I not do math? No, you lose, you lose. I thought- I thought that you would have more, or like, put more in defense position, but you not putting that in defense position means that you like, it, it's over. Or like, uh, remove that monster and then end up putting it in defense position, because that would have caused you to survive at least one turn. 
Oh, this game giving me so much bikes. <laughs> Playing the five D's deck. Anyway, GG's everyone. That's it. We done. Eric could be a villain in disguise, which is probably the case, and that's why she might be there. Apparently they cannot release DLCs because Type Moon is taking a while with Tsukihime VN. Oh, really? Huh. What's up, Trashy? This is a thing where they might release DLC this spring, which is bad. I don't want to install it, please god, no. <laughs> Oof. What do you need, Trashy? Strange, use your big influencer powers and call Type Moon to cancel DLC. Makes you think that I have anywhere near that kind of ability. What the hell? Bro, I can't even convince any of you guys to not band together to conspire against the streamer. You think I can talk to a company to ask them to not do something? Explain the entirety of the Kingdom Hearts lore to me, including all the spin-off games I haven't played. I'm interested. Don't bait me like this. Don't play with my heart. Do you want to know? Or are you just trying to piss off everybody else in the chat? Yeah, I actually do. All right, so it all started with the door to darkness. This but actually. Um. I don't want to do this. I don't know how to make this quick. There's no way to make it quick. I only played Cage 1, 2, and Cage 3. I didn't play Remind. Go on, yapper, start yapping. Alright, real quick, I'm gonna change it to just chatting so I'm not baiting everyone. You about to, like... Are you trying to get everybody to miss the eclipse? Everybody in the East Close? Is that what's up? You're trying to make me talk past 2 p.m. so that j nobody remembers to go outside to look at the sun? Talking about Kingdom Hearts because someone asked. That's not good enough. There's a better stream title here. <sighs> because I don't know. Whoops. <sighs> and just look outside, nerds. <laughs> Life check. Wife check who asked. You know who asked. Alright. Okay, KH lore. Anyone who cares about this should step out now, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be me going through this as quickly as I can, and then uh, I'm gonna wrap up the stream. Alright, so KH1 is just a kid with a key. That's it. He's just trying to have a normal life, but also he wants to go out and adventure and see other worlds because, you know, he felt trapped on that island alongside Riku and Kairi. They build a raft, the bad stuff happens, Riku falls to darkness, gets possessed by Ansem, Sora gets the Keyblade because he's supposedly the chosen wielder, goes and fights him, stops him, and then by the end of that game, Riku gets trapped behind the door to darkness, and Sora is looking for him, but also gets separated from the realm of light and ends up in the realm between. Going from... Wait, actually, maybe I should explain this in chronological order. Uh... Where are their parents? There was one line from Sora's mother in the first game, and no one... No parents ever spoke again. 
Chronological order, starting with Union Cross slash Unchained, Unchained Key, as well as Dark Road. There's the Book of Prophecy. There's the one world that exists at the time that I don't remember what it was called. Uh, Scala Ad Kylum is what it ends up being called in the future. At the time, it's... Is it the same? I don't remember. That one I forgot. I, bunch of children. You know, I can't be spotted to do this. Never mind. If you want it, I'll give it to you on not stream time. Not stream time. Is Goofy the father? Yeah, yeah, dude. Definitely. If you actually want this info, then ask me. Okay, but I'm a stream monster. Ask me in, like, text, and then I'll type you up an entire essay about all the things that happen. And I, I mean that. If you actually want me to explain that, then send me a message in Discord or something, and I will then take, like, however long it needs to be for me to explain to you in text everything that went on. For now... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find someone to raid if everybody hasn't already left. Stream the eclipse, look at the sun. I don't think that's a good idea. Ghost in the Shelly is playing Cult of the, Cult of the Lamb. Let's go to Ghost in the Shelly, why not? She's raided us a couple of times. Why am I hitting the space bar? I still can't frickin' type. Am I typing something wrong? Hello? Unless, did you stop streaming, like, right when I decided to try to raid you? Is that what happened? Is that what's going on Twitch? Yep, that's what happened. Yep. Frick me. Whatever. Ellis is playing Tekken 8. Why not? I'm gonna send you guys over to her. She's having fun with fighting games, and you know how we are with fighting games. I don't know if she's having fun, but she is playing fighting games. That's the bottom line. That's all that matters. Uh, what am I thinking about? What am I trying to say? A schedule, right? So, heckin' tomorrow is Tuesday. You know what we're gonna come back with the Resident Sleeper game that is Xenoblade X gonna get hard walled again? Cause why not? What's up, the real Corey? Forgive me for we are ending the stream. Uh, Wednesday we'll be back at 10 a.m. with some Mega Man ZX Advent. Thursday is... I don't know what game yet. I haven't decided. I kind of don't want to play Fear and Hunger. I might have lied to everybody, but especially Luke Ryan. Friday is going to be Monster Hunter. Don't know which. I've been kind of wanting to play World again. Don't know what I would do in World, but I've been wanting to play World again. Maybe I'll just run an open lobby, and why not? And hope that people join this time. Saturday is going to be a fighting game, but I don't know what fighting game. You'll see. That'll be something. Hopefully. And then next week is looking to be just about the same as this week. So if you guys got anything to say to me or anyone else who's decided to join, hit up the Discord below the stream. If you click the picture that says Discord, I'm going to go stare at the sun for about four minutes. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, or night, whatever time might be for you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.